Oh, well, it's early and it is windy. It's like 50 degrees and it sounds like there's tornadoes outside. That's how windy it is, but we're gonna go try to kill turkey. <laughs> Right, run alongside the pivot now. Turn, turn, turn right. Right, will we go that way? Yeah. We have snuck in to where they're set up. They got luck in, found them this morning. They're probably like 30, 40, 50 yards back in there, split up. We're in the only area that the wind's just not howling. It's almost 20 miles out there right now on a cedar line here so we're hoping for is that they'll cast down come over us land right out in front of us we've got a couple hand decoys right now we've got the hens fired up if nothing else right down here we've got a, a road that hopefully they'll come walking straight down into but hopefully they're wanting to spend their day out of the wind and this is the place to do that right there Sneak out past this branch, I think it's what threw me off.
it's just if he comes over, he came over far enough earlier we could see him. I can't see him right now. We gotta get him to come back far enough to see us. Here, stay back. You want to just be between me and Turkey? I think he's right up on top. Yeah, on that knoll. Shotgun, I shot him in a heartbeat. He was what? 45 yards. He ain't gonna probably do anything. Well, we snuck up this hill. We tried to get on him. We got within probably 45 yards. I want to be a max at maybe 35 yards, maybe 40. But uh, shotgun, we would have had him all day long with the Mojo Scoot and Shoot. But at least it's good to know that the time that I hit thought I hit this morning or hit low um, is A-OK. -okay. He's been out here for a long time and we snuck up on him. They were gobbling, strutted him up a little bit. Uh, just ready to get after him with a shotgun now. <laughs> but cool morning. It is windier than I'll get out as you start getting up these hills. We're down here in this bottom, tucked way out of the wind. Worked perfectly. I had to screw it up this morning and I think I was just leaning out too far and kind of twisted my body a little bit and it Made me shoot weird, so. We're gonna sneak back down, see what we wanna do. We might head home here in not too long. We'll see. It's been a successful weekend, and that was a successful scoot and shoot. If we had a shotgun, we'd have another long beard down on the ground. I should have shot him this morning, because look how close this is. Oh man, they weren't in pretty close. I mean, I, I scraped his feathers, look. I cut his feathers off. Yeah, oh, I cut them great. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, that's what a DRT will do to a feather cut. Just clean cut the feathers right off. It was nice to see though that he was all good. Yeah, you know? he was definitely not hurt. Oh no, he gobbled right here, you know, so. Frustrating, but he got her back. That's the way it goes. Yeah. See, there. that's probably what happened right there. That's, I mean, that's from this morning. So that's, that's probably the actual poop when this arrow came and it just scraped. So Everett got one? Yeah. Pretty good one? I don't know. I just, he just said he got one? I saw a picture, but oh. it was just laying down. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was asking him, well, I might, you know, I'd like to go maybe tomorrow. <laughs> he goes and kills one. It catches, those tail feathers catch everything. Yeah. It's a nice pretty. Yeah. Hybrid. Oh, yeah, he's got some really pretty colors. Better than mine going and landing in the mud puddle. He just looked awful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are on the road back to home. Uh, I had a great time there in Nebraska and just really thankful for um, Tyler giving us a place to hunt and Everett and his family putting up with us. Had a good time. They took care of us. We ate good. We hunted good. I missed today. That's part of hunting. I'm kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I'm really not. We know the bird's okay, but at the same time, it just means I got another tag to come up here to Nebraska to fill with a shotgun, and I am ready to get after some turkeys with the shotgun. But headed to Tennessee this next weekend, and excited to bring you guys two vlogs from that, from the two days that we'll be hunting out there, and hopefully that we just kill a whole bunch of birds so it's going to be colby and i going on that adventure plus we still got hunts coming in from other team members so i hope you guys have subscribed comment down below what you're enjoying about these hunting turkey vlogs give a big thumbs up and until next time have a better than average day brian your new job is arrow finder i found your last one <laughs> <laughs>
found it. Yeah, see, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Your new job is arrow finder. Arrow finder, Brian.